Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Tommy Wolf. I'm Dr. Vanessa Rodriguez. And we're the owners of the New Health Chiropractic Center. Today we're talking about migraine headaches. Absolutely. So if you yourself suffer from migraines or if you know someone who is and you're missing work, you're missing out on life, or maybe you're taking a bunch of medications and nothing seems to help, we're here to help you give, get you some answers today. Yeah, migraine headaches are the number one reason why people go to the emergency room now. And it's the number one reason of lost productivity at the workplace. So even employers are looking for this sort of information to help out their employees. But first, let's understand what is happening to the body when you have a migraine. So typically a migraine, you'll have an interference in the blood and oxygen flow to the brain as well as the nerve flow. Yeah, and some of the things that you can actually change at home that can help influence this and actually help heal those migraines are what you're putting into your body. So what you're eating, what you're drinking, but it actually can be coming from the spine. So we're going to be talking about all those things and, and really we're going to start with, with what you eat. So. We all know that eating too much sugar or eating too much processed foods or fast foods not good for you, but what it can actually be doing is causing those allergic reactions in your body and actually giving you those headaches. So what we recommend is writing a food log, writing down what you've been eating and those times when you get headaches, look back to the day of and the day before and see if you see any patterns. So maybe it could be something like gluten, eating too much bread, eating too much wheat, or it could be something like sugar, eating too much not only sweets and you know things like cookies and, and crackers, but even things like the bread and the wheats can break down to sugar as well. Um, really eliminating as much processed foods as you can because that's putting a whole bunch of toxins in your body and could be triggering, triggering those migraines, triggering those headaches. Um, a way to help with those toxins is actually to increase your hydration levels. So looking at how much water you're actually drinking can actually have a huge impact on, on the health of your body. So we recommend drinking about half your body weight in ounces of water. So roughly if you weigh about 200 pounds, you want to drink 100 ounces in water to not only help hydrate your body and give the cells the fluid that it needs, but it actually helps eliminate those toxins that maybe you've been eating or you're surrounded by and, and help heal your body a little bit better as well. And if you try the diet and you try the drinking, it could be coming from your spine. If you've had any sort of traumas in your past, from car accidents to falls and it doesn't even really have to be a major trauma it could just be from sitting at a desk all day long what can happen is the bones in your spine can become misaligned which is called subluxation and interfere with the nerve and blood flow to the brain now we see that a lot in our office and patients really see a lot of relief when we remove the interference in their cervical spine Absolutely. So if you'd like to try something new and get your spine checked, we'd love to answer any questions you ha may have on the spine or maybe even your diet, maybe even your hydration. And you can find us at www.thenewhealthcc.com. I'm Dr. Vanessa Rodriguez. And I'm Dr. Tommy Wolf. And we'd love to talk to you soon.